guys go on that 12-0 run uh, to take that 22-16 lead? Just what worked so well for you guys during that spurt? We just stayed with what we, we were doing all year. I thought uh, first quarter especially we forced things. Uh, we allowed them to alter our shots, and we just had to stay with it and and fight through it, and I think we did a good job of that. And we were able to break our their press a little bit in the second quarter to get some uh, transition hoops. Hey, your defense uh, the whole way through, I mean, you held them, I think, to two points that quarter, maybe four in that third quarter. I mean, that's a great effort against Carroll. Yeah, and hand it to them, too. I mean, uh, we played good defense, but they the fourth quarter really made it interesting. I mean, we put guys on their shooters, and uh, Eckenrode especially really had a field night shooting threes. And we knew they could shoot threes, but we didn't think they'd get in, come in bunches like they did tonight. You guys have so much support from this community here. I see after the game, you take the trophy up the stairs. What's this whole run been like with, those, with that fan support? I can't even put it into words. It gives me chills. It gives me chills to see the streets line with people coming up, the fire department, putting fire engines in, in front of the bus and rescue squads in back of the bus. Um, and these kids, they, they just thrive on that. And, you know, they're playing more than for themselves. They're, they're playing for everybody, everybody that's out there supporting them. Even the Heritage Conference, it was nice to see um, Heritage Conference players and students from other schools here. I know you guys don't like to talk about it a whole lot, but having no losses at this point in the season, how does that feel? It feels great, like I told uh, somebody else. I said, honestly, we don't even talk about it. We just try to look at each game, prepare for each game, enjoy the game tonight, because they deserve it. It's quite a feat to do what they did um, and get ready for states, because we know in states, if we're not ready, one loss, you're done. You guys had another great effort on the boards. Um, just talk about that aspect of the game. It has to be there for us. We use our height. Um, I know we missed some some easy shots too in there that could have turned the tables it seemed uh, at times we missed two or three that could have helped our cause but it wasn't meant to be but we prevailed and that's the bottom line we, we won the game How's how big of an effect was your length tonight uh, contesting shots and well that's our asset you know going in we were probably we put guys out there we try to take advantage they had um, a smaller guard line up in there but they did a nice job helping out when we try to take advantage of the, the taller against the lower especially in a low post. How's this team compared to the 2009 team that won the national championship game? 2009, they were a talented group, okay, um, and they did a lot on just athleticism. I'm not saying this group isn't as talented. Well, maybe I am, but I'll tell you what, they play together like I've never had a team in my life. I've been coaching a long time, and the camaraderie, the chemistry, that's in this group, they are all brothers, and there isn't a one time that we had a ruffle in our feathers this year. And I can honestly say that's the first time since I've been coaching that this, this year has been as smooth as it's been, and I attribute it to our senior leadership.